and welcome to Our Favourite Stories. We've picked our most favourite stories to read just to you and we hope you love them as much as we do. Please sit back, relax, snuggle up with your favourite toy and we hope you enjoy our stories. Maurice Micklewhite and the Tangerine Dress Maurice Micklewhite has a mother named Moira and a cat named Moo. Morris likes Sundays because his mother makes him pancakes on Sundays. Mondays are great too, because Mondays Morris goes to school. Morris likes lots of things about school. He likes to paint. He likes to do puzzles. He likes the apple juice at snack time. And singing the loudest during circle time. Most of all, Morris likes the dress-up centre and the tangerine dress. Morris likes the colour of the dress. It reminds him of tigers, the sun and his mother's hair. He likes the noises the dress makes. Swish, swish, swish when he walks and crinkle, crinkle, crinkle when he sits down. He takes turns wearing all the different shoes but his most favourite ones go click, click, click across the floor. Sometimes the boys make fun of Morris and sometimes the girls do too. Morris pretends he can't hear their words over the swish, swish, crinkle, crinkle, click, click that he makes when he walks. Morris pretends he can't hear their words, but he can. On Monday, Becky tried to pull the dress right off his back. You can't wear it, you're a boy. On Tuesday, Eli, Henry and the other boys wouldn't let Morris ride on their spaceship unless he took the dress off. Astronauts don't wear dresses. On Wednesday, Bee and Lila noticed Morris's fingernails. His mother had painted them for him the night before. They chased him around the playground shouting, Pinky fingers, pinky fingers. And then on Thursday, the boys wouldn't sit near Morris at the snack table. We don't want you to turn us into girls. On Friday, Morris pretended he had a tummy ache. When he thought about all the kids in his class and all the mean things they did and said, his tummy ached for real. His mother let him stay in his bed and read books about elephants. Moo sat in his lap. Moo liked elephants too. On Saturday, Morris's mother brought him some apple juice. As he took a sip, he stroked, she stroked his hair and Moo purred loudly. Morris suddenly felt well enough to do a puzzle and he hummed to himself and then he felt a bit better still. On Sunday, Morris crawled out from under the covers after a wonderful dream about being on a space safari with Moo. In the dream, they saw big blue elephants and tigers the colour of the sun that Morris could hold in the palm of his hand. The elephants swish, swish, swished as they moved through the grass and the tigers ate giant leaves that crinkle, crinkle, crinkled as their tiny teeth chewed them. The buttons on the spaceship click, click, clicked under Morris's fingers. Morris wanted to share all the amazing things he'd seen so he took out his brushes, put on his smock and began to paint using every colour he could imagine. He showed his painting to his mother when he was done. He pointed out the big blue elephant, the tiny tiger in the colour of the sun, the tall grass and the giant leaves. He pointed out Moo in his shiny round space helmet. And who is that? his mother asked, pointing at the little boy in the tangerine dress, riding atop a big blue elephant. Morris was hoping she'd ask. Well, that's me, he said. On Monday, Morris went to school with his painting rolled up in his backpack. And when he had a chance, he put on the dress that reminded him of tigers, the sun and his mother's hair. Morris swish, swish, swished. The tangerine dress crinkled, crinkled, crinkled. And his shoes click, click, clicked. Morris felt wonderful. 
Eli and Henry wouldn't let him on their spaceship, so Morris built his own. He hung his painting on the front of it and climbed in, ready to take off. Are there really elephants in space? Eli asked. And tigers? Well, if you follow me, we can find out, Morris offered. Eli and Henry followed Morris to a planet they'd never visited before. As they explored, Morris swish, swish, swished, and the tangerine dress crinkled, 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 and his shoes clicked. By the time they returned to Earth, Eli Henry had decided that it didn't matter if astronauts wore dresses or not. The best astronauts were the ones who knew where all the good adventures were hiding. Morris smiled because he already knew that. And when snack time was over, Becky demanded the dress. Morris told her she could have it when he was done with it. Boys don't wear dresses, Becky snipped. Morris smiled as he swished, crinkled and clicked back to his spaceship. This boy does. Hi, we hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please like and subscribe and share. We'll see you soon for the next story.